In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bulk convert your video files. So it's no secret that video is a huge part of what pretty much any creator of any type does. Again, whether you do Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or TikTok. Beyond that, you have things like YouTube Live or you have things like Twitch, which are all live video. And one of the big parts of live video is having the ability to record either your webinar or the game that you're playing or whatever video footage that you're streaming live to be able to export that later so that you can cut it up. Maybe for a YouTube video or for something else. But sometimes when we're working with various different types of software, maybe even something like OBS, you'll notice from time to time that the exported video file comes in a format that we can't necessarily edit with easily. Or maybe it was even an export that just didn't have the right settings. Something that comes up fairly often for any of us who work with video is the need to convert video files to different versions. Now in a previous video, I talked about how to convert a single video, whether to compress it to a smaller file size and or to change it to a different file type. However, one of the things that I've noticed with the tool that I shared in that previous video is that it's not very good or it's a little bit clunky when it comes to doing a bulk conversion and export. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a paid tool that in my opinion is a little bit faster and a little bit easier to use than the previous tool that we covered. And it is great for doing a bulk conversion, i.e. taking a whole folder full of videos and easily batch exporting them to a different file type or version. Okay, so the app we're gonna be using today is one called Permute. I will leave a link in the description if you would like to check this app out. But the first thing that we're gonna do before we start any conversions is we're going to jump on up to the settings. And one of the things that's really cool, you can go through here. I'm not gonna cover all of the various settings and options that are in here. I'm just gonna kind of give you, get you up and running with the basics so that you can decide if this is something you want to use. But one of the coolest things about Permute is all of the presets that it has baked in. And this is pretty much, for most of us, going to cover most of our needs. If you have a particular device, for example, that you're trying to export for, it's got it ready for you. But if you were like me or like so many creators out there just looking for a nice MP4 file that's going to be compatible with most web browsers, just about any software or video uploading or hosting service such as with Vimeo's out there or YouTube or whatever video hosting service you're using, most of us are just looking for an MP4. Like I mentioned, however, it's not uncommon for things like OBS or other video editing tools or software to export in something like an MKV and there's other or an MV, MV4 or something like that that isn't something that is natively compatible with a lot of software out there. MOV is another example if you are a Mac user. So fortunately with something like Permute, it's very simple. All you gotta do is take all of the video files you wanna convert and then drag and drop them. You'll notice that it puts them in this nice little clump or cluster. So if you even wanna run multiple batches with different settings for each batch, you can do that too. Most of us though are just gonna drag all of the video files over that we want to convert. And then from here is where you get to pick one of those presets and you can create and add a new one if you want to. So if you're very advanced, what you can do, of course, is go into settings. You can maybe pick one of these that you already have here. Then you can go up to duplicate and you can start changing some of these settings. If you want it to resize the video, if you want to mess with subtitles, all the options here. If you want it to change some of the audio quality settings, you can do that too. For most of us though, the default settings are gonna work just fine. And then all you gotta do is you just come down here to this bottom left-hand corner, not to each individual video, unless you just want to convert one, but we're gonna do it here in the bottom left-hand corner and we're going to click start. And as you can see, it's going to do the conversion process and then you're going to have all of your converted videos. Just jump back over to this particular folder where uh, my original folders or original files were stored. And then as you can see, I've got all of those videos converted very quickly 
in the format and the version that I need. So if you'd like to check out Permute, they do have a paid version, which is $14.99. So there's a little bit of a cost involved. However, I have personally noticed that it has saved me a ton of time, especially if you're somebody who finds yourself bulk exporting a lot of video. Now, the other cool thing is if you are a set app subscriber, you can actually get Permute included with your set app subscription, which is something that I personally do. Uh, so I will leave a link in the description if you would like to check out set app, which is something again, I highly recommend just because it has so many really good Mac apps uh, that do a ton of different things, many of which you have probably seen on this channel. So like I mentioned, if you'd like to check out Permute, I will go ahead and leave a link to it in the description. I will also leave a link to the previous video that I did that went through how to convert video with a little bit more fine tuning and for free using an app called Handbrake. But as always, if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.